Hello, my name is Steve Gearhart, and this is the Unagi Observer. This will be the last Where to Eat for Otakon for 2018. After this one is posted, I will come back on August 14th to resume the regular season. In this video is the all-important where to actually eat while you are at Otakon, and one last convention tip. But before we get to that, I have one little thing to say. I will not be going to Otakon. Don't worry, there is no tragic event that is preventing me from coming this year. Um, the reason why I'm not coming is because of November of last year, I pretty much knew I wasn't going to be able to go. Uh, aside from life stuff like moving to a new apartment, finding a new job, and actually having to travel around to look for said new job, and getting the shingles, which was not a lot of fun, it was very painful actually, there was also the new experience for me of having to pay additional costs that I never had to do before when going to Otakon. So does that mean that I'm not, am I not ever going to go back to Otakon? Of course not, of course not. I will be there at Otakon, I just wasn't able to get there this year. But I'll plan to be there in 2019, so I'll see you all that at that time. Now enough of that because we have to talk about this one last convention tip and it's very important. It's one of the most important tips that I can give you guys. So please listen up. This is a phenomenon that happens every year. Every convention, every Otakon, every anime convention. It happens every year. We all get into a closed space or we're waiting in line, waiting for a show to start, and eventually we all smell it. The fanboy funk. So I put together a video for my fellow fanboys, the ones who don't seem to be able to smell themselves. This little instructional video is just for you, so please feel free to take notes as you watch it. Now that you know how to bathe, my fellow fanboys, here's the video for all of you who want to watch where to actually... 